what oracles and oracle networks do is they arrive at a similar type of consensus, but not about transactions packaged into blocks. They arrive at consensus about external events. So what, what that means is just like in blockchains, you have independent miners coming to consensus. In Oracle networks, you have independent Oracle nodes that basically independently go and verify something, right? So an Oracle node connects to an API about market prices or about weather or about any other set of events, and it verifies through that data source that something happened. And then another node goes and does that somewhere else. In, in fact, some of our Oracle networks are so advanced now that we have 20 or 30 nodes all getting proof from multiple APIs each, and then combining that proof across all of them, and then coming to a final consensus and to a final value about what the weather was or what the price of an asset is or what the state of a certain kind of asset is somewhere else. And so the, the degree to which you're arriving at consensus and the degree to which you're achieving decentralized computation is the amount of nodes that you have verifying things, the amount of data sources that you're pulling from to verify the data. And with each additional node, each additional data source, you're getting additional decentralization, additional proof, additional guarantees about the definitive truth of that specific value and that specific piece of information. 